Good old Russell Coit is making another appearance on TV, but this time it's for a Mitsubishi car advert. I'm going to look at this advert in two ways. The first way is the actual advert, how funny it probably will be and how effective it is. And on the other side of things, I'm going to look at the actual practicality of what they're offering. So let's give it a watch. Are you Australia ready? G'day. I'm Russell Coit. After a day of exploring, these city slickers may have picked up an unwanted passenger. Let's go have a look. Whoa, stand back. It's an inland black. <laughs> Charging cable from the back of the... Do you want to take that? That swanky EV is way off the grid. Looks like trouble is just around the corner. Ooh. The problem is, uh, so I did a little bit of a Google search. This is a plug-in hybrid. It only does 28 miles from the battery, which in Australia terms is next to nothing. So the fact that they keep calling it an EV is embarrassing. You can call it a hybrid, but do not include the EV because this is not an EV. It is 28 miles. It is ridiculous. Um, really poor from Mitsubishi. Water and electricity don't mix. And they know exactly where their CV is going to wind up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we got him through. <laughs> um, looking at that, um, actually, I think you'll find batteries are sealed. Uh, there's, you know, batteries are pretty sealed. It's actually worse. Scrap the kind of vehicles that Russell Coit has there, the big Land Rover type vehicles. Um, but actually it's when water, I think, I think when water gets into the exhaust pipe and things like that, that's when problems and water into the engine, that's the problems, not the electric. You can see these Teslas going through. Um, there's a, as a channel on YouTube, which shows cars getting stuck in a Ford when the Ford floods. Um, not a Ford car, I mean a, a Ford. In Yeah. And um, it's the electric ones go straight through. The big Range Rover type ones go straight through. But it's the normal combustion engine cars that, yeah, the water destroys them. I'm surprised that EV made it back oh. in the camp. But tomorrow, that battery of theirs is flat as a tack. We're getting Going naked. For a rude shot. Just hang on a sec. <laughs> but so good. you can't afford to take risks out here. This big brown land, which is sometimes red with bits of green, is no place for hipsters in electric vehicles. Where are they? I'll need a tow anyway. Jeez! Stop! Uh oh. <laughs> oh. It's a bushy Outlander plug in hybrid EV. Australia ready. Well, that's never happened before. Well, once. Well, hang on. Do you mind if I have a drive? Um, Russell Coit being Russell Coit. The advert itself is funny. It's making people think, well, this is a great car. Um, but let's talk about the actual practicalities. As I said, this is not an EV. This is a hybrid which is a complete cop out what's the point 28 miles is do it giving you nothing um and it probably wouldn't even do 28 miles australia ready i think that's quite belittling on australia i think that's quite offensive to australia it's basically saying well actually this is all you're ready for that, that's basically what it's saying you're not ready for ev well some of you may say yeah well we're not ready for ev that's not technically true because i have looked at maps and mostly mostly you are. And actually, you push your government and you do better things. Um, but I think actually this vehicle, this car, this advert is quite patronising and quite belittling to Australians. I really do, because it's, as I said, it's saying you are not ready for anything more than this. 28 miles, 28 miles of electric power. Uh, it's not great. And Mitsubishi, this is it's embarrassing. Um it's crazy because let's be honest, Australia has got has got lots of open space, 
but the renewable energies that Australia can provide. Ah, it's like really good advert because it's got Russell Coit. And then it's so embarrassing how crappy the car is in the fact that it's so backwards. Ah, it's painful. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Good old Russell Coit. Glenn Robbins is a bloody legend. Thank you so much. We're coming to Australia very soon. And we'll catch you next time.